Hi guys and welcome back to Challenge of Southern Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this delicious pineapple cheesecake dessert. Stick around. And here I'm just crushing up two packs of those graham crackers. You want to crush it up really, really fine. This will be used for the crust in your dessert. Continue crushing. Now get a microwavable bowl and add your stick of butter to it and then we're going to get that melted down in our microwave. Now it's time to add two and a half cups of those crushed graham crackers to your melted butter. Now get that stirred up really well. Again, this is continue with the crust of our dessert. And here I'm just using a nine by nine pan that I'm gonna get my crust created in. And I'm gonna pull that to the side so it'll just be easier for me to transfer my crust to my pan. And here you'll see me using two cups of this graham cracker mixture that I'm gonna add to my pan. I will save the remainder of that as my topping for my dessert. Stick around. And now it's time to get that crust flattened as much as possible in the bottom of the pan. Again, this is gonna be our crust, so you want it kinda of compact down in the bottom of that pan. And now I've just taken this and set it on a larger size cookie sheet um, I typically do this when I'm baking anything in a pan. We're going to get it in our preheated oven that is at 350 degrees and we're going to bake that for nine minutes. And while our crust is in the oven, we're going to go ahead and get our can of crushed pineapple drained really well. Now it's time to get our filling mixed up. Here we're adding a stick of butter and we're gonna get that whipped up really well. And that butter is at room temperature, you guys. Now it's time to add our room temperature block of cream cheese. That's eight ounces of cream cheese to our butter. And then we're gonna get that mixed up really well. Now 
Continue to mix until the mixture comes almost to a pale color. Now it's time to add our two cups of powdered sugar into our wet mixture and then we're going to get that combined really well. Now it's time to add in three-fourths of our crushed pineapple that we have drained. Now it's time to get that mixed also. Get that mixed in really well and then we'll be able to go ahead and add our mixture to our crust. And here's my crust guys. I have let it cool completely before I add my mixture into my crust. And I'm just going to get that spread out evenly over my pan and then I'm going to get ready to make my topping which is an 8 ounce container of Cool Whip. the rest of my crushed pineapple that I have left. And here I'm just adding in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract that is optional. And then we're just going to get this combined really well. And then once that's completed, we'll get that spread out on top of our pan also.
And now it's time to add the remainder of our graham cracker crust to the topping. This is just a garnish it and also give it some crunch on top. And once we're completed adding our topping, we can get this in the fridge for at least eight hours or best if left overnight. And this dessert is delicious, guys. Give it a try and give me some feedback. I would greatly appreciate it.